my loves welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome my name is Ruby I film pink glam and girly videos as well as tons of shopping hauls if that's something that you're into don't forget to subscribe and join the pink and glam family so recently I've been thinking of new video ideas that I could have for my channel for 2024 just kind of trying to bring you guys new content and one thing that I thought about is since I'm constantly shopping and I'm always uh, kind of bringing you guys along with me to do shop with me um, and then showing you my hauls showing you guys what goodies I found I thought that something that I can do is on a monthly basis at the end of every month or maybe even at the beginning of the next month have a video that recaps my hauls for that month where I share with you guys what items I really liked, what items really worked as well as what items did not work or what items I was disappointed in and wouldn't necessarily repurchase so let's jump right into the video and see what I liked and what I didn't like for the month of January all right so I'll be starting off with some January favorites from my January hauls um, I actually also have an item from 2023 and then I might have a recent item from a uh, February haul but other than that everything else is going to be from my January shopping trips and my January hauls um I think I should probably start with the item from 2023 so in 2023 I had hauled some of these juicy couture bracelet DIY kits um, I had hauled these from Joanne and at that time I let you guys know that one of my ideas was to kind of utilize the beads and the charms and kind of make uh, purse charms and purse accessories. So I've started doing that. I started doing some charms. So here's kind of the first one that I did. I just kind of put some beads together and then I added the charms some of them say juicy then there's like a little crown and the way that I utilize some of those charms is I put it in my um, purse so I kind of put them across uh, the two straps and I just think it adds a cute little detail to the purse and then the charms um, are really cute like you'll have some charms and they do some of them say uh, juicy or, or JC so I just think it's a cute little detail to add to the purses um, then for my January favorites Let's start off with some clothing pieces that I really liked, which were these sweaters. Um, the first one is this pink heart with pearl detail. So I had hauled this one from Timu, um, and I actually was really surprised by the material and how good of a quality it is. Um, it's really soft really thick and it keeps you warm. Um, I was at first a bit apprehensive with ordering clothing from Timu because I know that when you order clothes from Timu or Shein, um, sometimes it could be either a hit or it could be a miss depending just because sometimes the material is not good quality. Um, but I was actually really surprised this sweater was definitely a hit. I absolutely loved it. This is probably my favorite sweater. Um, and then my next close uh, second is this sweater, which is the purple with pink hearts. I had hauled this one from TJ Maxx and the material on this one is super, super soft. Similar to the one from Timu, it's really thick, it's soft, and they both definitely keep you warm. So it's been really cold uh, here in California for the past couple of weeks and it's been really rainy. So these sweaters have definitely kept me warm. Then 
The next item that I really liked was this tumbler. So it's kind of a Stanley Cup dupe. It looks very similar to like the Stanley Cups, but this one is from Hydra Gear. I hauled this one from TJ Maxx. It was part of their uh, Valentine collection because it has like this little uh, Valentine straw topper. But I really, really liked this. I liked how much liquid it holds. And then what I really liked was that it actually holds the temperature of the drinks really well. So if you want cold or hot, it holds the uh, temperature really, really well. I used to be a Starbucks tumbler girly. Girly. <laughs> Um, and I used to shop for their new releases every month, but the Starbucks tumblers don't come insulated like these ones. So I think that from now on, I'm going to stop buying Starbucks and I'm going to start buying these ones right here. The Hydra Gear, um, brand is actually really, really good. I have a couple of other, um, tumblers, not necessarily like this one. They're, um, different, but I actually really like this brand and definitely love this cup. So I'm probably going to try to get more of these. Then, um, the next item that I really liked, um, was a Javi's, uh, concentrate coffee. So I had done a collab with them earlier on in the year and they had sent me their concentrate and I actually really did end up uh, liking this right here. I like it cold better than I like it hot. Um, so usually what I do is, oh, I just kind of get like a little tumbler. I put some ice um, and then for me, since I like my coffee a little bit more uh, concentrated or more strong, I add two tablespoons of the coffee and then a little bit of the creamer, and then um, I'm good to go. So I definitely like it cold better than I like it hot, but you could also do it hot. Then the next item that I really liked was, ironically enough, another collab that I had done. So I had done a collab with All Joy. And I think that this item is probably my favorite for the whole month of January. Um, it is their heated blanket. So they had sent me over a heated blanket and it's actually pretty big. It's a 50 by 70 and it's super super soft i really liked it but i really liked their um heat settings so it actually does get pretty nice and toasty so the times that i've used it i usually only go up to um three or four um but it actually goes all the way up to eight but this has been a life Saver for me since it's been super cold and it's been really rainy I just kind of snuggle up in the couch turn this blanket on and then I'm good to go I've actually even slept with this blanket on um, and what I do like about it is that you could set a timer so that it turns off by itself so if you do want to sleep with it it does turn on by itself but Definitely, definitely has been my favorite for January. Then, I think that's all of my favorites for January. Now, some of the items that I wasn't really impressed with or that I kind of didn't really like were some food items, ironically. Um, so I had hauled these, um, Ghirardelli hearts in the flavor creme brulee, and I thought that they were going to be pretty good. Um, it's white chocolate and creme brulee. It sounded really good, but for me, I just felt that they were too sweet. The white chocolate and then the creme brulee pieces were just too sweet for me. I was not a fan of it. So 
I would say if you're not a fan of really sweet chocolate or like really sweet treats, definitely skip out on these chocolates. They are definitely super sweet. And then the last item that I was disappointed with and I didn't really end up liking for um, my haul, which was one of probably the most disappointing one, um, I had hauled this tea. I had got this from Marshalls. And this is the Cherry Rhubarb uh, Loose Leaf Tea. And as I had stated before, I'm trying to drink a little bit more tea at night just kind of to unwind. And I've been really liking loose tea. So I thought this one would be really good. It sounded fruity. Um, it sounded like it would be something that I would really like. But unfortunately... It did not work out. Um, I felt like it just had a bit of like an artificial flavoring to it, um, or at least taste. It left me with like a artificial taste afterwards, like after I was done with the tea. Um, so I was actually really, really sad that I didn't end up liking this tea, um, which is the Pink Up or Pinky Up. So super sad about this one i'm debating if i want to go back and maybe give it another try give a different flavor a try but we'll see i'm thinking of doing this on a monthly basis kind of giving a little rundown at the end of the month of the items that i really liked and the items that i didn't necessarily like from my shopping trips and from my hauls um, I also wanted to take this time to give you guys an update on a video that I have been working on. So I want to say sometime last month, I had asked you guys if you guys would be interested in me filming a video where I give you guys some tips and kind of like my tricks on buying Juicy Couture online. And the majority of you guys showed interest and said that you guys would like to see a video like that. So I am working on that video. Um, it's just taking me a little bit longer because I'm compiling up kind of um, all the websites that I use, how I shop, so like my tips, my tricks um, for shopping for Juicy Couture online and kind of trying to compile it all into a video, see how I would like to format it. But that is coming up. That is something that I am still working on. So it's definitely a video that I will be um, kind of uploading. Maybe I want to say hopefully within maybe the next three weeks, I'll be able to be done with that video and we'll be able to have it uploaded for you guys. And I would be able to share my tricks and my tips on buying Juicy Couture online. So that was it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like always, subscribe if you haven't already to join the Pink and Glam family and leave me a comment down below on what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me for the 2024 what kind of bonus videos you guys would like to see so i will see you guys on my next video bye